Hey, it's Critical Art 64. This is your main man, Caesar here. Uh, today we're taking a look at a new comic, uh, Marvel's New War, New New Warriors. Excuse me, and uh, we all know how that went. <laughs> My name is Kibble Daniel Smith, and I am the writer of New Warriors number one. I got interested in the New Warriors later. I remember seeing them on the shelf when I was a kid, picking up comics in the 90s, and just feeling like they were too cool for me. Like I was intimidated by, you know, Night Thrasher who had a blade coming out of his d you know, Nova was really buff. Uh, they were all the edgy characters uh, for the 90s, as the as the cover said. The new warriors are the authority figures in this story. They have to be mentoring new new warriors who are under 21 and uh, subject to the, the laws. Safe Space is kind of a big, burly, sort of stereotypical jock. He can create force fields, but he can only trigger them if he's protecting somebody else. Snowflake is non-binary and goes by they, them. Snowflake has the power to generate individual crystallized snowflake-shaped shurikens. The connotations of the word snowflake in our culture right now are something fragile. And uh, I don't think we're worried about being dated. I think we're way more way interested. Way more interested about being now. Uh, probably the most controversial of the designs that they debuted were uh, Snowflake and uh, Thaith Bath. Thaith Bath. Thaith Thaith Bath. These two look like if uh, Willow Smith. These two look like if Willow Smith and Jaden Smith were sired by uh, Dennis Rodman instead of Will Smith. And then uh, we're given a role to play in a Netflix adaptation of The Wonder Twins, which is set in an alternate universe where uh, conflicts are resolved by roller derby. What seems the main thing they're highlighting with these designs is racial and gender identity. Um, since that's the case, I'm willing to bet that most black people generally feel like I did when I was a little brown boy watching Captain Planet in the 90s uh, when all the other diverse kids uh, got cool powers but the brown kid got the power of heart you know whatever the f that is let our powers combine Earth. Fire. Wind. Water. Now, as usual, I'm a bit late to the dance since everybody and their mamas redesigned these guys uh, already. Uh, here are a few examples. So the artist names are in the top left. Some of the designs were pretty cool, but I think I know what would really go gangbusters. First, we'll start off with Safe Space. Uh, first of the, first of all, that name has got to go. Uh, we're gonna go with something a little bit more badass. Uh, what's I think the least badass thing ever is Safe Spaces. So probably just think of the opposite, um, which would be a Danger Zone. I think that's his name. Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna have uh, waves and uh, AirPods, you know, like a 
like a real zoomer slash millennial you know because i know what they like i kind of i kind of know <laughs> you know i i know what they like you know they, they they like the airpods they like the waves he's gonna be a real cocky bastard you know he's he's gonna tell people to make him a sandwich you know but it doesn't matter if it's boy or girl. He's going to tell the other one, you know, make me a sandwich. He's he's a progressive guy like that. Uh, that's for sure. You know, he, you know, th this guy's nuts too. You know, he he steps on people's shoes uh, just to see what they'll do. That's kind of the guy. You know, he, that's a show I want to watch. You know, he just he just picks fights all the time. Uh, he can he can only use his his bubbles f for. Uh, you know, he, he can only use the bubbles, his defense bubbles or offense bubbles when, when his adrenaline jumps. And when he inhales, they grow. And when he exhales, they shrink. When he just holds his breath, maybe they keep the same size. And then so he could like crush people with them or stick them like up your butt, like how like Ant-Man was going to do in, in Infinity Wars and then like rapidly expand. And, uh, and they smell like um, like high karate cologne, you know. It, it you know, one thing about uh, Danger Zone here is he never skips leg day, you know. He, he's just jumping, jumping squats. You know, the, the squats really help keep your testosterone up. That's real key here. Uh, now, now the one thing about his old custom is it was uh, like girlier than like. Oraraka from like My Hero Academia. Like I, I think, I think that design had more cojones on it than than even uh, the the original one of these did. Uh, kind of also reminds me of of Cal in Mystery Men. I don't know if when I mean, he played the Invisible Boy, kind of ha has a similar vibe to that. Um, and now this guy, this guy's nuts. You know, he's looking pretty determined here. So I kind of designed this more to look like a like a running suit, because originally I I don't know what his was like like a surfing outfit. I don't know, but you know he, he likes to wear pink, because uh, people try to pick on him for it, and then he, he can like justifiably beat them up, because he'll be like, hey man, are are you like a like a f hater? Is is that is that it? And he he's like. I'll whoop your ass if, if you if you hate gays. Uh, he's kind of like Cameron, you know. He wears the pink Cameron. Um, you know, I'm a pretty confident guy. He, you know, I don't, I don't know what Kibble Smith was saying that his guy was burly. I mean, I guess that guy wasn't burly at all. This one, I, you can kind of describe him as burly. He's he was just like. Super yoked, like disgustingly yoked. Uh, I, I guess he's a mutant. That, and they're just gonna sign my name here. Danger zone. You know, I'm, I'm gonna sign it. Um, it's my idea. You know, I, I bet they wish they uh, they hired me instead, for sure. You know, but I, I wish. I, I bet. Marvel wishes they came up with it first, but they didn't. I did. I did. Um, I signed it here. I, I guess they could reach out to me. Uh, whatever. Uh, next up here is Snowflake. Uh, Snowflake just. That's just a soy name. Let's, let, let's go with something more kick ass. Something. Uh, Badass, but completely ridiculous, like uh, like Snowpiercer. I think that's what we're gonna go with here. Uh, now, I guess uh, this was supposedly Marvel's first non-binary character. Uh, they f that up. Um, <laughs> I you know I, I thought maybe Groot was because he he reproduced asexually, so I, I don't think he really has. I think by definition he's non-binary, but I think they're referring to the concept that gender is 
somehow separate from sex and is constructed by society or whatever, you know, one of those social constructionist viewpoints. Um, you know, while, while in that case, uh, Snowpiercer, her pronouns are going to be uh, Her Majesty and Her Eminence. Uh, yeah. And then since Her Eminence is, uh, you know, like a total ice queen, you know, that... And, uh, you know, she, she's a total ice queen, and maybe Her Eminence... You know, she has she's conflicted with her identity. I guess that's that's what we're going with. So, her eminence has the soul of a twenty-five-year-old Japanese man. Stop making that face. That's offensive. What? <laughs> this is how I feel inside. That practice ninjutsu, and uh, her Majesty. She speaks in English. You know, like like broken, funny English. Uh, like get to the chapa or like I'll cure you with my snow braids something like that you know she she speaks in a really thick Japanese accent uh, maybe maybe this Japanese guy he did like a reincarnation no jitsu or something like that teleported into the body of a you know, black baby I guess I don't know so there's that uh, you know, she's she's also like her always trying to steal like Danger Zone's girlfriends, um, and then maybe if he's always trying to steal her girlfriends, so they're just like always cock blocking each other. I, I think that would be pretty funny. Um, you know, the the nice thing about you know her Eminence's uh, power is that all of her murder weapons melt. I think that's pretty handy. Um, Kibble Smith said that they were psychic, but it, how about this, like when Danger Zone is communing to her telepathically, in his mind, maybe she sounds like a pansexual Japanese man. And it just weirds him out, and he hates it. Uh, it's probably why she has like this Asian haircut too. You know? I, I, I think we're gonna go with that. Um, let's see. So he said he can. Sh she can only make shurikens. Uh, yeah. I mean, or how about she could probably make icicles too? Um, maybe an ice sickle. I think that's it. You know, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a f***ing genius that she uses ice sickles. I guess they in martial arts they call them kusari gama or kamas. She uses ice kamas maybe. Sure, true that. Um, maybe she, you know she moonlights. It's like, like maybe she doesn't have a whole lot of her control of her powers, and she does like really bad ice sculptures. So she like moonlights as a uh, ice sculptor. She's like really sensitive about it. You know, she's she's really bad at it. Um, you know, I kind of went with like a gymnast leotard kind of look a little bit of typical kunoichi kind of set up here uh, yeah I really think uh, this design's much more appealing I mean the original one I, I don't know couldn't really vibe into it I, I think people would want to cosplay this one um, okay that, we're just gonna sign it again here I bet they wish they came up with this idea. They they didn't. I bet they wish they did. Uh, I bet this would have gone over a lot better. Uh, so just sign here. So yep, these are pretty much the designs. Snowpiercer and Danger Zone. Like, comment, and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you have any uh, video suggestions. Or maybe you'd like to see any other characters redesigned, including maybe the rest of the New Warriors crew. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. You know, I'll, re I'll read everything. If you have any inquiries, including commissions for art, um, you know, I did my self-portrait there too. Like, if you want something, maybe like something to look like an old painting, or 
I don't know if you want your OCs designed or anything, shoot, shoot me an email. Um, my email is illmaestroproductions at gmail.com. It's up on the screen, illmaestroproductions at gmail.com. Um, well, I guess I'm going to make like a baby and head out. 